Hello, and welcome to Advanced Cluster Management for Kubernetes. My name is Jimmy Alvarez, and I'm a Principal Product Marketing Manager. And today, we're going to be talking about the application lifecycle. First, let's start by talking a little bit about the architecture and or the components within the application. The first thing that you need to understand is that the application itself is broken into four different main components. The channel, subscription, placement rules, and of course, the underlying application. A channel is just a resource where all of your source repository will stay. That can be a GitHub repo, a Helm chart, an object store with YAML, or a namespace containing Kubernetes resource templates. Then you have a subscription. A subscription really just subscribes a specific repository and delivers those Kubernetes resources. Placement rules allow you to refer, they are referred by subscriptions and supplies a target uh, where they manage clusters that must subscribe to that specific channel. This alongside labels is how we can determine the placement of an application. And then finally, the application is used to select all of the subscriptions that are part of your application, right? It's just the visual aid, the topology of the application. To access the application lifecycle, you need to navigate to the menu, click on the Manage Applications. From there, you'll see an overview page. From this overview page, you can search for an application, you can edit or delete any application, or you can create new applications. If you navigate into the Resources tab, in the top, you'll see the channels pipeline that shows all of the applications subscribed for the specific channels. You also will see the standalone subscriptions, and these are basically subscriptions that are not in use by any application. From this screen, you can also add any new subscriptions, placement rules, and or channels. To create a subscription is pretty simple. You just click on the subscription button and you enter and or modify the YAML. This YAML can be, of course, taken and copied into a Git repository. If you click on the Manage Applications overview page inside an application, you're presented with the application topology. This application topology really see, lets you see the overview of your whole application. It will show you things like your cluster, any resources, the channels, the placement rules, and or also uh, performance about your cluster, if you click on the cluster button. When you hover any of these other resources this, within this topology, we'll just show you the general details about that specific resource. On the top bar there, you can see the uh, icons have their own legend. And if you click inside of any of them, you can see the, the corresponding YAML to the right. Once again, you can take all of this YAML and put it into a Git repo. Let's go ahead and walk through a demonstration of the application lifecycle. Navigating into the application lifecycle, we'll notice here that we have already one application built. If we look under the resources, we can see that it has one subscription, two managed clusters, one channel, and two placement rules. To create a new subscription, all you got to do is click on the subscription and copy or edit the YAML file. Same for your placement rule and for your channel. Notice that for the channels, we support namespaces, Helm repos, object buckets, and GitHub. You also notice that we have two subscriptions here. Let's look at the guestbook app. To edit, the channel, you can go ahead and click on the channel, YAML. In the description, just click on the pen here and edit that. And for the placement rule, you can go ahead and click on that. Notice here that uh, we match specific labels to, that, uh, to place this application. And it currently made the decision on placing it in two specific clusters. So let's take a look at those uh, from the topology view. Navigating inside the application itself, we'll see here the resource topology. And we see the two clusters that we have deployed, as well as the subscription and the pods underneath it. 
If we click on the clusters itself, it gives us an overview of the health of that specific cluster. If we click on any of the resources, we will see the specific YAML for that specific resource. This makes it very simple for you to copy and paste all of this information and put it into a Git repository. On the top, you can also see the legend of those specific icons. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, create a new application. To create a new application, I'm just going to copy and paste the code here. And I have already set up a subscription uh, as well as a placement rule for this. So if I navigate inside of it, you can see very quickly that all of my resources there, um, I can see my channels and my subscriptions and my placement rules. Notice that because I set this spec to look at all of the clusters or match all of the clusters, it made the decision to place this application on every single cluster. You can also see the subscriptions here that I have already built and the channels. I build that simply by just clicking on the subscription button and copying some YAML. And if we click on the cluster, you can see currently it's actually being deployed into all of these clusters. Of course, given that this application will take a few minutes to go through and deploy the application. And just like that, you have built a new application. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. For more, please visit our YouTube channel.